Hey everyone and welcome to part 25 of Let's Clone a Pokemon game. In this one I'll be teaching you guys how to set up a simple weakness system. This way we can actually calculate if you use something like a vine attack and it was grass and you attacked a monster that was weak to grass attacks it should deal more damage. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending over that variable from that attack and checking to see if it's equal to the weakness of the monster and if so we're just going to deal double damage and that's going to be our basic setup for today's tutorial so we'll jump into our classes um, we're going to change up a few things in our attack class we actually want to change the type of attack to type type and before this was attack type but if we want to compare two variables we actually want it to be the exact same so since uh, this was attack type it couldn't compare correctly and calculate so we just want to change that um, it's just gonna it's the exact same thing it was exactly like that in the other script but it was just called attack type so it doesn't matter which one we use um, it's better just to keep it simplified like that so yeah that's the only thing to change and then in here we actually want to add a new type for weakness and this is going to apply to every monster and you can just do the drop down and select one of these to what it's weak to and uh, yeah calculate that in later so next we're going to jump into our main and we're going to add a, another comma and another variable to this. So what we also want to check for is monster equip dot attacks. So whatever attack we used, um, we also want to grab the type of attack that it was. So this is the variable, so if we used a vine attack it's going to be of type grass. So when we send over which attack we use, we also want to send over what type it was. And what we could also do, if you want to simplify it even more, you could completely get rid of the type altogether, which is something we may do in, in the future, and put it down in here. But um, if you actually want to like customize it a certain way and have like something that appears to be a grass attack do you like a psychic attack or something crazy like that you could always keep it the way that we have it but if you wanted to simplify it you could just put um, in here what type of attack it is since we're using vine if vine's always going to be grass you can just put it in here and you won't have to waste time um, throwing this variable through these different functions and it'll just simplify it a lot more but anyways, so we're going to be sending over the type of attack it was. And we also want to do this same for enemy monster. And we want to throw the random attack number into there as well, since it's going to be the same for both these. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need to set up for our basic attack. And then in our monster attack script, we want to add a new type of type. So it's going to be tossing that new type variable around through all these functions and stuff like that. So you can just plug that into all these locations where you have your turn set. And yep. And then we get down to here. Now I did a couple of debugging earlier because I was having some issues, but it's just pretty much stating, you know, what type of attack uh, uh, we used, what our um, enemy is weak to, what we're weak to. And then in here, turn's going to stay the same. And then in here, we have two new lines of code. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is checking main script enemy monster dot weakness. So it's going to grab that monster that we're attacking and check for its weakness type. And since we're um, sending down the type. Um, so if we use, let's say, grass attack, it, it'll send over grass attack, and then plug grass attack into here, and then it'll check for what weakness. If it equals, so if it's weak to grass, it's going to deal the normal damage on top of times two. And if this does not equal grass attack, it means it's not weak, so it's just going to deal normal damage. Now we still haven't calculated in all the other stats, but yeah. We'll work on that later. And then you just want to do the same for our current monster and check that as well. 
if it depending on which one attacked it'll check which turn and then all that stuff so that's pretty much all we did for all that we can jump in here and actually show you guys how it calculates so um, what I should say before we do that um, you want to go through and set up each of your monsters weaknesses and whatnot so anyways let's see here I think all mine all mine are just set to basic grass for my attacks even though they're they say different things and I set my types up or my uh, weakness to psychic so none of these other enemies deal psychic damage so I'll never take double damage but um, my enemy monsters when they transfer over all their stats um, their weaknesses should always be grass I think that's what it defaults to for all of them it'll tell us in here what their weakness is so we'll just run in here and we can see 10 out of 10 we use smash it dealed 4 damage and we just took 5 from vine I believe yeah attacked with vine type that we attacked with grass weakness enemy grass and whatnot and it also calculated up here so since its type equal or the type of attack we used is grass and the enemy weakness was grass it t took double damage so if we attack with vine it should kill it yep so that's a basic way to set up the weakness system um, obviously you can add in an array for that as well and calculate that in and um, yeah you could have multiple weaknesses to different things but I guess I'll show you guys later how to do that it's pretty simple to set up but anyways yep stay tuned for the next tutorial